Welcome back, another episode. The topic of school safety in English teacher episode 4 addresses two significant issues, Gwen's low ranking on the student discord list of sexiest instructors, and the safe use of firearms in the state of Texas, where guns are widely available. It goes without saying that these two issues are not equally important from a social standpoint, but sitcoms require and be stories, so here we are. However, the discussion of guns is undoubtedly current given that school shootings are regarded as an epidemic in the United States and are a very special kind of calamity that the nation faces. The topic, which soon sparks a discussion, is cleverly brought up in school safety as Evan walks into work after spending another evening with Malcolm, his non-boyfriend, and hears gunshots in the distance. Startled, he covers himself in coffee and hides in a classroom where he discovers his classmates are not at all bothered. Marky's gun safety club is the source of the gunshots. Since only Evan seems to be concerned, it's initially unclear if Evan is acting out of principle or out of humiliation when he decides to get the club shut down. He persuades the book club to hold a protest in which they all march through the hallways decked up as ghosts. However, Marky organizes a counter-protest in which he and his students don ghostly attire as well. The two most prevalent zero-sum viewpoints on this matter are held by Evan and Marky. The former is ardently anti-gun, while the latter believes that since firearms are already readily available and prevalent in the United States, particularly in Texas, educating children how to use them safely and responsibly will save lives. Strangely enough, Marky appears to be the most aware of the demands of the student body, even if there is very little chance that any significant anti-gun legislation will ever be passed for reasons that the rest of the world does not understand. The first way Evan expresses his frustration at this is by snapping at Marky, which is unfortunate considering how Marky supported him in episode 2. He then tricks his students into completing an assignment on crime and punishment by asking them to describe the most horrible thing they would do if they could get away with it. His scheme is successful. After one of the students' articles was deemed to pose a threat from an active shooter, the weapon safety club was dissolved, metal detectors were placed around the campus, and free writing assignments were outlawed. However, another provision calls for a gun in a lockbox in every classroom and training for all staff members to use it. The adoption of ever more repressive and horrifying policies is Evan's win. Pablo, one of his students, who was only following Evan's instructions, was forced to attend therapy three times a week as a result of the procedure. Marky continues to handle it nicely. In another place, English teacher episode 4 introduces a less well-meaning, and, in some ways, darker storyline that isn't as sensitive, serious, or topical and isn't handled with the same impartiality. It has to do with Gwen. For more videos, subscribe.